Let us make man in our image. Genesis 1, 26. Is there a triune, three-person being in Genesis that created the heavens and the earth and mankind? Let's take a look. There's a total of four verses that mention the us or our when Yah is speaking. Genesis 1, 26. The Elohim said, Let us make man in our image according to our likeness. Genesis 3, verse 22. Then Yahweh Elohim said, Behold, the man has become like one of us. Genesis 11, verse 7. Come, let us go down and there confuse their language. Isaiah 6, verse 8. Whom shall I send and who will go for us? Many assert that these texts prove that Yahweh Elohim is a plurality of three people. Is it reasonable, though, to allow these four verses to define who Yahweh is and to negate the thousands of verses that has him as a singular pronoun and has him, the Father, creating the universe by himself and alone? Of course not. This will be considered eisegesis, proof texting, a dishonest interpretation of the scriptures. The simple and scholarly answer is this. In verses like Genesis 1.26, Yahweh the Father is speaking with amplification, also known as majestic plural. Amplification means that Yahweh the Father is emphasizing His majesty, power, and greatness as the one true El. It's common for a single person of power and majesty to speak like this when making a declaration or establishing something great. I'll leave a link in the comment section below on this topic of majestic plural and its way of speaking. Now, although Yahweh is one person, the Father, He was not alone in heaven. We see in Genesis 11 and Isaiah 6, heaven was filled with the heavenly host, angels and seraphims. Job 38 verse 4 through 7. Where were you when I laid the foundations of the earth? Verse 7. All the sons of Elohim shouted for joy. 1 Kings 22 verse 19. Yahweh sitting on his throne, singular, and all the host of heaven standing by, on his right hand and his left. And finally, the us is mentioned in Isaiah 6 with the vision of Yahweh on his throne. Just a side note, notice that there isn't three thrones or three people on this throne, just one person. And the us in this verse is in regards to who? The angels, the heavenly host. Isaiah 6, 1 through 8. I saw a master sitting on a throne, high and lifted up, and the train of his, singular, robe filled the temple. Above it stood seraphim, top rank angels. Verse 3. And one cried to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is Yahweh of hosts. Verse 8. Here's the key verse. Also I heard the voice of the Master saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? I highly recommend checking out Keegan Chandler. He's a scholar in the Biblical Unitarian world. He wrote a book on Biblical Unitarianism and has teachings on YouTube. I'll leave a link below. And please subscribe if you're enjoying these videos. Thank you, and Shalom.